Andy from A Star Fab. This is my 03 Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 8. G5 Voodoo Pro ECU. Uh, it's got a Razor PDM in it. It's a two, built two liter car, stock cast block, aluminum rod, uh, custom made piston, some Kelford cams from over here. It's also equipped with a Link MXS uh, five inch display. It's got a PPG four speed dog box. Uh, it's, a, it's on an HPT 8280 on about 75 pounds of boost. Um, the car previously has made a little bit over 1200 on a different charger. We, we would estimate that it probably still does in the high 1200 range, something like that. Uh, with the Voodoo Pro ECU, we're able to do CO2 boost control on it, so really helps us get the short track down by being able to run a very small wastegate spring and ramp the boost in. Um, it's very accurate. Uh, once you switch to dome control, uh, boost control, um, we use a drive shaft speed sensor on it um, just to kind of monitor everything, get an idea of what kind of slip we have in it. We've got a Honda viscous coupler in the drive shaft, which I know some of the other Evo guys are not for not fond of it. Um, it works very good for us in the Honda all-wheel drive stuff that we do. So. Again, we've got a sensor pre and post so that we can look at slip in, inside of the drive shaft itself. Um, and then, of course, it's uh, the Voodoo Pro comes built in with a GPS speed sensor that, since we don't have true ground speed being all wheel drive, you know, we also monitor that. And then the car's got, um, you know, individ individual EGTs to, you know, help keep the engine in check since it's on methanol. Uh, and a little bit of nitro, the Plug reading and um, O2 readings can throw you off sometimes, so we kind of live by the EGT to keep the piston in it. You know, with the link being so powerful, we're able to, you know, put this all into one time plot and really overlay the data and take a look through it just to see what the engine wants or what's best for at least keeping it together. We'll say as far as software goes, the you know obviously it's much faster, the logging's much faster. As far as the link layout, you know, at least from G4 Plus through current Voodoo, you know, especially anybody out there on a G4 Plus that's thinking they don't want to, they don't want to make the move because they want to have to, they want to have to relearn software or rebuild a map. It's the architecture and layout is almost exactly the same. There's obviously added features in the Voodoo Pro compared to the G4 Plus. Um, but I mean, basically we were able to honestly copy paste the fuel map, copy paste the ignition map, you know, while building a base map and the car fired up like we just did an oil change on it from G4 Plus to Voodoo was, I would say, as seamless as it could possibly be, you know? So we were able to fire the car right back up, have it running and you know, we were able to go make quarter mile passes without even putting this thing on the dyno. You know, it was, a, it was, you know, within a couple percent right away. So we'll say anybody that's looking to make the switch, just don't think about it, make the move, get something current.